Wayne College was put on probation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, or SACS. In June, Payne College was put on probation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, or SACS. The college was criticized for failing to meet several requirements, especially pertaining to financial stability. Wednesday marked the first of many meetings Payne College President George Bradley and other committee members will have over the next several months. If we are not uh, digging in, uh, trying to protect the status quo. What we are here to say is, help us, SACS. Chair Michael Thurman says the advisory committee will monitor reports making sure protocol is consistent with SACS guidelines. What they've done is they've intervened at a point so that the crisis won't worsen to the point where we might lose Payne College. The fact that they've involved now is ensuring that if we do what has been suggested and requested, that will ensure the existence of Payne College. Georgia State Senator and committee member Lester G. Jackson says while this is just the beginning stages, action will be taken immediately. And this is our first initial meeting to look at the provisions that Sykes want us to complete and, and we're taking steps going through each uh, provision step by step. Other committee members include Payne College's former CFO Quincy Robertson. Both he and Thurman make it clear that Payne College will not hide information from Sykes or the public. The truth will set you free. If, in fact, those things are correct, we're not arguing with the truth. We want to use that to help us become a better institution. The members say now things are out in the open. The college can only go up from here. So what we are going to do is take the information, use it to strengthen what we do, and to be more efficient and more effective. In Augusta, Elizabeth Hughes, NBC 26. The committee will meet quarterly and will be addressing each and every violation that SACS has in question, as well as look for other members to join their team. Live in the studio, Elizabeth Hughes, NBC 26.